Once the extension has been installed, you will then have to log in and start configuring the Corenza toolbar. First, it will take a minute or two to synchronize the information with your vTiger and the Corenza toolbar. Once we continue to the next page, you'll see we have a plugin configuration tab which will allow you to configure the search fields as well as the fields that will show up on each module and the tab on the toolbar. Within the search area, you can configure up to three fields that will be available for search. Um, as well as those fields will also show up in the summary view and the tabs for different modules. For example, if I scroll down, you'll see that the summary view has linked tickets and opportunities and the fields that you see, name, stage, and amount, those fields will come from the search configuration. So the search has two purposes, is to search the information as well as display the information when you click on each of those tabs for tickets, opportunities, and all the other modules except for contacts and leads. Let's move to the next tab which is summary. The extension allows to have summary and the person view, meaning that you'll be able to configure two different layouts for leads and contacts. The summary view basically allows you to have more fields on the same view by excluding the labels and using icons instead. So you can add as many fields as you would like and you can specify a label or an icon for each. You can move the fields around, you can move the blocks around as well, and you can remove the blocks as needed. All the information on how to customize and all the details are within the extension. So once you log in, you'll see a summary and a brief description of how all the fields can be moved and configured. Moving to the next step is a person screen, which is again, for a lead and a contact, you can have two different set of fields on the summary and the person screen. This works exactly the same. You can double click to change the label. You can add, remove fields and drag and drop as well. The next we have the organization, which is just fields that will show up on the organization as you create it or view it. Next we have calendar, tasks and events, opportunities, tickets. So all of those fields can be configured that will show up on your toolbar. Next we have comments, which is already pre-configured and no configuration is needed. Same applies to emails, documents, and the updates. Um, the only exception is invoices, quotes, and sales orders. Those can only be displayed on the toolbar and the fields that you'll see are configured in the search area as we discussed. Next we have the user management and this is where you can create access, basically give access to each user that's going to use Carenza. By default, all the users are activated and you'll have ability to deactivate them as well as send introductory email with instructions how to download the Outlook, Gmail, or Office 365 plugin for their local computer. Uh, you can do that by simply clicking send email and that will trigger the email to be sent out to the user. Um, next, we have the support and documentation. These are just links to the Carenza website with instructions how to install each plugin and detailed documentation on the entire process. And that pretty much covers the admin configuration for the plugin 